Showcase TV is brought to you by Parfume Salvador Dali and Paris Mode. I'm crazy about Parfum Salvador Dali. Hello, welcome to Showcase TV. This is the place where we chat to creative people, plus live music. And this episode, sweet products, pun intended. You'll find out shortly why. We've also got an artist who legally changed his name to Union Is Love. 12-year-old singer, songwriter, superstar, Alfie. But first up, it's High Five legend, Lauren Brandt. Lauren. Hello. Thanks for, joining me. <laughs> thanks for having me. No longer with High Five. No, I'm not. Which is why you're here. Yes. Is, it, is that no, why I'm no, here? No. here? Well, that's part of the reason why you're here, because I want to know how you got into it, where you started, and why you left. Yeah, that's some pretty good questions. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go from the beginning, okay. though. Okay, all right, how so did it start? I've always been a performer. I've okay. been performing since I can remember. Singing, yep. dancing, acting, modelling. Started in the mirror with a hairbrush and, you know, turned of into course. actually being paid for it, which is cool. But I love children as well, and I was doing all sorts of things, but just before I got into High Five, I was doing a Shakespeare play. So that was right. really intense. And I was, I think when I started auditioning for High Five, it was my chance to be really silly. And then I went back and did the Shakespeare at night, which was like really full on and the crying and everything. Yeah. So I really did just release my auditions and I was silly. And I think um, when I got the job, someone said to me, they knew I had it because I picked a wedgie. Because I was so just natural. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I've got a bit of a wedgie. So, yeah. <laughs> And that landed you the job. Yeah, so wow, I think, I think it had go. something to do with singing, acting, dancing, yeah. But most right. of all, in High Five, they were always just looking for someone that was really natural and, and, the girl who picked and didn't wedding. take themselves too seriously. Right, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's so there you go. Anyone fake, watching sorry. who wants to get into that sort of stuff, <laughs> be as natural as possible, pick a wedgie out, and uh, it, it worked, obviously. Yeah. Being on High Five um, and having that relationship with kids and loving it, mm -hmm really inspired you to take that next step in your life. Yeah. Um, again, with I'm not creativity. <laughs> no, yeah. That's not the next step I yeah, took. No. Yeah. But, um, mm. but creativity involved. Um, yeah. You released? Lolly Bolly. Lolly Bolly. Lolly Bolly. Okay. Tell us what Lolly Bolly okay, is. Okay, so it's a fashion label for girls that mm -hmm. I started. And I thought to myself, leaving High Five, I mean, seriously put so much passion into it and really every single kid that I met, you know, I have love for and I just wanted to have like a legacy or something that I could take with me from all the research basically that I did into children. So yeah. my family have a fashion, um, a sporting fashion company and so yeah. I've grown up with that. So I took my two, combined them and did like the, the fashion and I did it for children. Yeah. And I did Lolly Bolly, called it Lolly Bolly, it's my childhood nickname. My mum still calls right. me it actually. It's quite Awkward. embarrassing. She's South African so it's like, <laughs> Lolly Bolly, you coming for dinner? <laughs> and get, you must sound yeah, yeah. like an accent. Yeah, yeah. Get paid out about that all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's it's all about imagination, discovery, exploring, all those beautiful things that kids have and basically yeah. going beyond your limits. Like there's no boundaries. And I found myself wanting to go and hang out with the kids just so that I could get that honesty that sometimes you don't get from adults. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, well, like no mental boundaries. Yeah, they just yeah. imagine anything. I mean, exactly. I worked for kids for 10 years, primary yeah. school, so yeah. I can so relate to what you're talking about. Yeah, like when they come and they go, guess what? And what? I wearing big girl undies now. <laughs> you imagine if I came to you and said, I've yeah. got a new bra, hello. Yeah, no, you'd be in jail. <laughs> right here, right now. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, love right. it. It's so cute. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so do you have a website? Can people yes. log on and buy your stuff so, online? So, Lolly Bolly is really easy to spell. I made sure of that. Yeah. L-O-L-I-B-O-L-I. Oh. Okay. And the website is um, lollybolly.com. The adults <laughs> ones that the cast wore. Any spare well, that I could... I do have some spare. And the funny thing is I get parents emailing me all the time asking for special requests for adult sizes. And I've been making them. So there's a bunch of, like, replica adults high five dresses Ethic. out there too. I mean, I mean, can I buy that on the Lolly Bolly website? Yes. There's there's boy shirts actually for the high five range. So it's the one thing I do for boys Fantastic. is the high five stuff. Well, yeah. Lauren Brandt, good luck with the rest of your career. And if you Thank guys you. liked what you saw of uh, Lauren's designs, jump on lollybolly.com. And get one for your kids. They look fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Stay tuned. More Showcase TV coming up. I'm crazy about Parfum Salvador Dali.
Welcome back to Showcase TV. It's now time for our Musical Talent of the Week. And this week, 12-year-old Alfie Wall. Alfie, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. It's now, great to be here. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Now, when did you start playing music? Because you're only 12. Uh, I started playing music since uh, when I was eight. Eight? Yeah. And what musical instrument did you start on? Uh, guitar. Guitar? Yeah. Cool. And still rocking the guitar? Yeah. You're, you're very good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and how do you manage to do music and school? Um, well, I kind of um, like play at like, I play at school okay. and on the weekends. And, and you do gigs home. and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Any gigs coming up? Um, yeah, a few. Yeah. A few um, do you remember any dates? Can we um, plug any dates? No. We'll do that at the end. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are some of the venues you've played at? Um, Lazotte's, uh, Manly, yep. uh, Food and Wine Festival. And, wow. Yeah. And even though you're 12 years old, you can play at those big adult festivals? Yep. Fantastic. Well, it's good to have you on the show. What song are you going to play for me? I'm going to play Get Lost. Um, and it's about, uh, like, monsters, like, under your bed and just... Telling them to just get lost. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll get lost. Alfie, take it away. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! Put it up. Yes. Yeah. Um, now you busk, yeah? Yep. And people can buy your CD from when you busk, but they can also find it where? iTunes, iTunes. YouTube, and Facebook. There you go. iTunes, YouTube, Facebook. Oh, I'm getting muddled up with it. But uh, Alfie, 12 years old, almost 13. You've already got a record out. There's like 15 songs on here or something. You are well above your age, little man. Thank you so much for coming on Showcase TV. Thank you so much. Legend. There you go. Jump on iTunes, Facebook, YouTube. Follow Alfie Wall. He's going to be one to watch for sure. Stay tuned, Showcase TV. More coming up soon. Bye.
Now, Showcase TV is about all people in the entertainment and arts industries. My favourite art, chocolate making. And we've got the founder of Coco Chocolates, Rebecca Kurzweil. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Lovely to meet you. And uh, thank you for bringing all these chocolates. Uh, that's all we need you for. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I'll just I'll leave yeah. and, and leave you with the table. <laughs> thank you. Um, chocolate making. Yes. How did you get into chocolate making? Well, as you can see, this is all pretty highly designed as well. So I was a two-prong sort of chocolatier. Right. A lot of people um, study patisserie and then want to focus in chocolate. I knew that there were three things I loved about chocolate. Yep. Number one, how it tastes. Number two, how they look. And number three, what's the cute little box you can that have your knickknacks at the end. Um, so I, of all things, did um, design and product design first. So did I. Oh, we're, okay. Where, Enmore where? Design Centre. I studied I was, product design. Uh, I was at UTS, ah, um, building architecture and design. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. That's all right. Not really. I'm sure we drank <laughs> just as much at the bar. Yeah. But And then um, I went off to France and okay. was lucky enough to do the short school at Valrona, which ah. is um, in a little town just outside Lyon yeah. and studied chocolatiering there then did some more studying at the in the UK and then in 2004 so a while ago I opened my first chocolate store in Edinburgh of all places wow. and the reason was I wanted to stay close to Europe but my French was really bad okay uh, and so that was that and we were lucky enough the big break I guess was um, I was lucky enough in 2007 to be taken on as one of the Harvey Nichols lines and their main stories in Knightsbridge in London and that same year we took over as their head chocolatier so I guess that wow. was the big break right so it sounds like you had to do a lot of study a lot of work and a lot of designing before you really cracked it. I didn't know there was so much behind chocolate. I thought, you know, you just put a few ingredients together, melt it up, pour it in, done. Hey. You can do that too. Right. But this is like the more elegant version. This has well, inspiration from France and England and wherever. But this is it, you know, but what you're saying is completely valid too. I, I think some of my favourite things that we make are the shards, which are literally just slabs of chocolate yep. with hazelnut and sea salt or raspberry or whatever mm. thrown on top. And I think they're one of the best things we make. So right. it doesn't always have to be so fancy, but if you go to a dinner party and you want to sort of have a conversation piece as well, it's it's nice for both. It's beautiful. Some of these packagings are very. Do you do the design for well, the packaging as well? How do you how do you figure that out? Okay, so what I do first is I do draw things out, but then I have three artists who then make my stick figures. Yep. Look, look really, really well nice. Well done. Thanks, UTS. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and um, and then things, I mean, there's all sorts of things where inspiration comes from. Swelligant, which I thought would be a good name for a dinner party box. That's great. So elegant chocolates for swell dinner parties. Swelligant. Exactly. But any Deborah Harry fan out there will know it's actually from one of the old Blondie songs. So I don't even know ah, if she came up with that word. Okay. But that was the basis for that. And I guess um, our... Our, probably our most popular box, which is this one, yeah. and on our bags are the Coco Sirens, and all with nice big bums because they love yep. chocolate. And we like ghetto booties. Exactly, and so they um, they were inspiration uh, of the sirens tempting people in, and right. so that that's probably our our main design and and the origins of that. Ah, fantastic. So then we have our artwork chocolate. Mm -hmm. So the artworks are done in two different ways. Some things we hand paint, so literally sit there with a little paintbrush and paint on the actual chocolate. On each individual chocolate? Yeah, with some, so the less detailed wow. ones. But some like these ones, uh, we literally have a printer, if you think of your home printer, yep. slightly like that. Um, but instead of cartridges of ink, we've got cartridges of coloured cocoa butter and we can lay through sheets of plastic, food grade plastic, and it will print off in cocoa butter on that and while the chocolate's still warm we can lay it on, pull it off and it will leave the cocoa butter behind on the chocolate. With our, our tattoo collection, mm -hmm. um, because we do have the Betty Page inspired box, mm -hmm. they did, when I first made them, we made them the ultimate tequila slammers. And so right. we had a lime, a tequila and a salt. Mm -hmm. But with the Betty Page box, we soon found that the biggest audience for it were teenage girls. Okay. So we had to take the alcohol out. So now they're all plain chocolate. 
Damn you, teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there an M15, oh, M15, 18 plus version, I should be saying. Is there an 18 plus version? We can make anything bespoke mm -hmm. at any time. So we have a store called Cocoa Chocolate at Kirribilli. Okay. And any if someone wanted a tequila slammer box, we can make everything because all everything's made by hand by us yep. in our kitchens at Middlehead. So we don't buy anything in. So we can make these exactly how Tailor the made. customer wants it. Wow. Absolutely. Fantastic. It's been such a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you for having me. Um, if you'd like to learn how to make some fantastic chocolates like this, Sydney Chocolate School, great place to start. I am going to just start um, picking at some of the rest of them. I want to try these ones. Yeah, they're creams. Not they're sure. spiced raisins. Spiced raisins. Mm. Mm. Well, don't you go anywhere, but we will. Uh, we'll be right back after this short break, or a little bit longer so I can finish most of these. We'll see you soon. About Parfum Salvador Dali. Here's your chance to win Salvador Dali fragrances. Simply film your best version of I'm crazy about Salvador Dali in your best French accent, of course, like these girls. My name is Henriette Zamor and I am crazy about Le Parfum Salvador Dali. I am Cameron and I am just crazy about La Parfum Salvador Dali. I'm Eloise and I'm crazy about La Parfum Salvador Dali. Each week, the best entries will be shown and the winner to receive a selection of Salvador Dali fragrances. Upload your video to Instagram, tag us at Showcase TV one and you're in. Good luck. I'm crazy about Parfum Salvador Dali. This week's Salvador Dali La Parfum video contest winner is Katie from Queensland with a cracking entry. I am crazy about La Parfum Salvador. Dali. <laughs> Joining me in the studio now is Grant, Humphrey and Union. Just kidding, it's only one person, but he is all three of them, or was all three of them. <laughs> was, was three of them, now one of them. Union. Hey, mate. How you going? Today, yourself? So, Union, you go by Union these days. Yeah, yeah. Explain to me how this all happened. Uh, just like... Life changes. Um, I mean, born Grant Lawrence Wilson. Yeah. Uh, few things happened back in 2007, 2008. And uh, I guess you'd almost call them, you know, like a bottoming out or a low period. Okay. But then led to some growth and some change. And part of it was I went from being a very academic, studious, uh, more, I'm not sure whether it's left or right brain, okay. but one side of the brain. Yep. And then opened up all this creative flow and I chose the name Humphrey Dove. And it was just mm -hmm. kind of, I wanted to be the opposite of what I'd been. And then that led to all these changes. But then the, the union is love kind of is more of a, an amalgamation. I'm not scared about putting my work out there. What I've been scared of is failure and maybe even more so success. Okay. Which is initially I thought it was failure, but then I've kind of seen that I had a real issue with self-love. So you know who you are now. Union is love. <laughs> yeah. I assume that's got something to do with the UI love title on your latest artwork. Yeah, the, I had a name. The, the name change, the Union is love, came in a, in a dream when I was in New York and was kind of struggling. Okay. And... Uh, I saw that the person I was wasn't going to do what I f what my dreams were, and uh, I s this new individual needed to move in, and that that's this union guy. Okay, what's and he doing now? Painting well, these things. Yeah, the, I mean, tell me about that. The funny thing was was the initials for Union is Love are you I love, and I never knew that when I did the name change. The penny didn't drop. No, and, uh, and <laughs> that's the thing is the artwork. You know, like two years ago, I'd been in the states and I did all these. I did about 50 portraits of all the big actors and stuff yep. and started to get them. And I met some of them and, you know, I thought celebrity portrait guy, that was the way I could get the art career to start, but it wasn't me. And uh, this stuff is I've done 45 portraits of just faces off the internet of a broad spectrum and representation of humanity. I can see that. 
I, I feel it. I feel the <laughs> energy. Feel I'm feeling the love. <laughs> um, so part of this range, yeah. uh, 45. 45, yeah. And are you showcasing them in Australia? I mean, because you're kind of all over the place. You went to Paris and tried to crack it, as you said, yeah, you New York. Yeah. I'm it, going back to France. You're going um, back to Paris yeah, I'm going, for this exhibition? Yeah, yeah. Can people buy some of your work no. online? you have a website? No, I just actually cut social media a couple of months ago. Uh -oh. so. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. True artists. True artists. Rid true themselves artists of social media. Wants to make sure he can't sell anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except in Paris. So we can see this stuff in Paris. However, I am that in love with this. Yeah. I I'm keeping it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Really? <laughs> yeah. For a price tag. No, 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 no. There's no price tag. This is, this is low budget television. This is, this is staying. I can see this <laughs> right here. Union. Yeah. Union, well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Pleasure. Sorry. And thanks for uh, giving me that painting. It's worth 30 grand, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks. Well, that's it for this week on Showcase TV, but join us next week for a mega episode. We've got designer Peter Morrissey, a male model actor, Ivan Ford. We've got current Dancing with the Stars star April Pingilly, plus live music, heaps more. Be there. Salvador Dali. Showcase TV is brought to you by Perfume Salvador Dali and Paris Mode. I'm crazy about Parfum Salvador Dali.